Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I am pleased to present to you some of the most popular sets from Fast Model. And today, we're going to look at the Spurs hammer play, a favorite of mine to get a weak side corner three wide open for you. And normally it works because the defense gets a false sense of security, they've contained everything, and yet bam, we back screen the weak side guard, he's opening the corner, and they never knew what hit him. So the basic setup for this hammer action is a guard on top wide, the other guard is going to be a little bit closer to the lane line, and we have a two low post and the shooter, the guy you want to shoot starts in the corner. So real simple, the guard will loosen up toward the elbow, swing it to the other guard here, and that will trigger three guys moving at once. The center goes underneath, hold up, let's stop right there. The power forward from the weak side comes up and sets a step up screen toward the baseline. And this is when you see Manu, who goes all the way around toward the baseline. While that is happening, by the way, we also have the shooter coming up to the wing. And that kind of action just sort of loosens up his man and gets him sort of not paying attention as much. So get even higher, AJ. So as he starts to drive off of that step up screen, this is the cool part. We get a back screen from the five who is circled around and head hunts his man. And Charles, as a lefty here, can almost jump out of bounds if he has to to get that screen because a lot of times teams think they know what's going on and they'll get low to try and take it but there's nothing wrong fundamentally with jumping out of bounds because the worst thing that can happen on that kind of pass is that it gets deflected out of bounds and you inbound it, right? There's no way a defender is really going to be able to steal that and stay inbounds himself. So that's why it's a worthwhile play if you have to, to jump out of bounds to make that pass. Let's see it in real time. Yeah, here we go. Ball dribbles in, swings it, orbit, step up screen. Good, there it is, the hammer screen. Boom, look at that, beautiful. And that's exactly how Manu does it. He kind of keeps running through the play after he throws the ball. And it's a great way to get that shot. One of the keys here to get this guy open though is that he can't be too fast in his cut up to the wing because he's got to get his man to relax, maybe even walk, get up in a stance like this. So when you're coming up here after we're setting the screen there, you got to walk, take your time a little bit, you know, you can walk like, you know, faster than normal but a little bit, you know, upright. So now you're going to do a jump stop, plant that foot, yeah, and go. And that's the kind of movement you're going to get because if I'm playing defense, I'm already facing the wrong way. I can't catch up to that. So it's really important to teach your players slow, right? You don't have to be going fast all the time because once you start sprinting, the guy stays in his stance and he's ready and he's thinking something's going to happen. When you get him is when you kind of walk in like, oh, hey, what's going on? Boom. And then you're right back here and there's the shot. And that's what you've got to learn is quick, quick, slow, 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 quick. That gets you open in the, in the hammer. Another awesome variation of the hammer play the Spurs run is this, where you have a, your power forward up here on the lane line extended, uh, you have your three on the elbow, your point guard bringing the ball up, you have your shooting guard under the basket and your center on the low post on the right side. And it's real simple. We have uh, this guy on the elbow will cut up to the wing, catch it with his back to the basket, hold up. While that's happening, we're getting a pin down on this side. And that's key here, but I'll tell you that in a second why. We're going to get a handoff right back here on a little guard quickie around. So now we have our familiar hammer action over here, right? And why it works great is that we've started with a pin down. So come over here and show us the pin down real quick, and I'm going to talk about the defense here. If I'm guarding him, right, I know something's going to happen if he starts running the basket. He's going to get a pin down when we see that. So I'm going to bust my butt as he's going, right? And I'm running, I'm running, oh, I got him, I got him. But guess what happens? I'm up here, wait, where's the ball? Now, as soon as he takes the jump stop and goes back the other way, he's, I'm right back into the screen. So Anthony's going to follow me up my back and then set a back screen here, and he's going to flare out to the corner. Because here's the other thing. What's my instinct when I get a back screen? It's to protect the basket, right? So I'm probably going to go, oh, but i got to run here, and what's going to happen? You're in the corner shooting a three. That's the problem, right? Or I might even go, oh, I better watch the ball, and that's when you jump out of bounds, and it's a three either way. But here's the last bit of special sauce. As this is happening, go back here and show us the handoff. And by the way, this is very triangle-ish. Triangle offense has this, a lot of this where they go guard quickly right back to him. 
After Charles hands it off, we now have the last piece of the puzzle is the power forward now flare screening this way. And now our point guard has his choice of a flare screen for a shot on top or the corner. And God knows if they try and cover it all, we have the big man slipping in there for the pass. So show us first the pass to the corner, and then we'll show you the pass to the top, and then we'll show the pass to Anthony for the dunk. There you go. Good. Now watch that timing. So remember, the guy setting the screen from here to the guy who's pitching it has to time it enough, early enough, so that the point guard has a chance to hit him when he's open and not too late, right? The point guard wants to be able to see him getting open before he gets into the lane because that's when the pass is going to get made. And that, we should make that clear. You want to try and get somewhere close to the lane line or further before you make that pass, especially at the, the lower levels because you know, unless you're a pro, that's a tough pass to make about, what is that, 35 feet across the court. So you want to try and get a little bit deeper if you can to make that, and that's why that pass and that screen up there has to happen enough where he can kick it out. Show us that pass up the top now. Here we go. Break out. Good. Good. There you go. Now, the last piece is, let's show uh, the, uh, step, the, the uh, slip of the screen by Anthony in for a dunk. Let's see if we can figure out how to step in for this one. All right. Good. There you go. Good. So I like that because it's a step up screen, there's a back screen up here, you brought your man up, and now you can use your quickness to come right back in here because your man's going to be worried about the guy you're screening for, and you can slip right back in there for the dunk. Beautiful stuff, and that gets your point guard involved as well, as opposed to having your, your two guard or your three trying to penetrate as well. Uh, a great play. So there you have it, sports fans. Really cool versions of the Spurs hammer play. Great for out of timeouts, when you can diagram it and get it all set up, and just when the defense thinks they got you, bam, you get a back screen in that corner for the three or in that second option on top for a flare screen three. It's great stuff, definitely worth working on. And don't forget, head over to Fast Model because they have a huge amount of plays in their library. You will get better, you'll get more knowledgeable, even if you're a player, if you're a coach, doesn't matter. Check it out and their app too, and you can design your own plays. And don't forget a B-Ball Breakdown, not a channel, we're a conversation. You win.